ABC reached out to us and interested in shooting a segment that revolved around uh, a pediatric heart transplant patient. The experience on the show was a surprisingly easy one. I was uh, initially a little bit anxious about how intrusive the cameras would be in sort of the day-to-day -day things that I need to do to take care of patients. But as I got to know the camera crew and the producers and the rest of the team, I realized that in fact they almost melded into the background and were really not obtrusive at all. The purpose of the show is to introduce to the public what the process of a heart transplant is and not so much get caught up in the nitty gritty of the medical aspects of it. They were able to show what Sarah was like before her transplant what she went through, uh, and they were able to also show what life is like now for Sarah and why. It's really such a life-changing experience. They presented some of the drama that parents go through when their kids are having surgery, and it's not something that I'm always privy to. You know, I see parents before surgery, and then I see them uh, after surgery is over, and, you know, it's nice to see what they go through, because I think we'll make us all better physicians going forward. My wife and I watched the, uh, the premiere of, of the episode uh, together and she pointed out some idiosyncrasies about me that made her laugh about things that I do or say, so she got a good laugh out of it. Was I pleased with the way I came across? No one's ever really pleased with the way we come across, but I, I seemed tired. I, certainly I looked exhausted. <laughs> the balancing of work and life and home uh, is a challenge for all working physicians. I think for those of us who care for the sickest of children, each time you take a child to the operating room to perform complex heart surgery, you really have to be in your A game and you have to put the emotion of the moment aside and really focus on what you have to do as a surgeon. Sarah continues to do well. In fact, uh, she's going to be starting college this fall. She's going to the University of Connecticut and she's interested in becoming a pediatric cardiologist. Her brother Ian, who has a similar condition, is still being evaluated, but it's more than likely that, that he will at some point in the near future be considered for a heart transplant as well.